Ganas is a wallet for the interchain, implementing multiple chain connections at the same time that will allow for trustless bridging between chains. Ganas targets the decentralized citizen and is made by volunteers. This means tools for gaining or maintaining freedom, fairness, and transparency. From tools for proving time and space, to document notarization, and more. Ganas needs to be flexible and extensible even by its users. In this video you will see the different devices and operating systems that are able to run and interact with Ganas. Ganas, the wallet and IDE, is designed for use on the phone and for development on tablets, for both iOS and Android. And this was shown also in previous videos. Ganas X, the browser extension, is being built for all devices. This browser extension does not store critical data, but it can communicate with your Ganas wallet, which contains your critical data. Ganas X also supports the new Wallet Connect version 2 protocol, which has multi chain support and it can work as a standalone extension providing Wallet Connect functionality to any DAP by code injection using any mobile wallet. Ganas X can be used now on both Chrome and Safari, on desktops, laptops, but also on mobiles. Here we have a Chrome browser and we want to run a simple decentralized application connected to a smart contract that sets and gets an on-chain value. Right now we don't have any browser wallets or any access to a Web3 Ethereum provider, so we get this error when we try to retrieve the on-chain value stored in the smart contract. So what we are going to do now is enable the Ganas X extension, go back, reload the page, and we have a connection through uh, the Wallet Connect version 2 protocol. So now we can come with any uh, compatible wallet and our Ganas mobile wallet is compatible with Wallet uh, Connect version 2. So what we're going to do is scan this QR code and we get the wallet connect URI here and then we press on connect and we get all the connection details here that we can look at. We get the URL of the DAP that we're trying to connect with and we can accept or reject. Let's accept and we have a connection and now we can retrieve the value which is eight and we can also do a transaction and change the value from eight to nine so we are going to press store here and now we have the request on or our mobile and we can see the actual transaction with call data so we're going to uh, call the set function with a value of 9 here and we can accept it and we are going to wait until the transaction is mined and it was we get the receipt here And if we get the new value, it's 9. So we just enabled a Web3 provider through a Wallet Connect with the Ganas X extension. And we are going to show the same thing on Safari. We are going to load this page. The same type of QR code is exposed by Safari and we are going to scan this QR code, connect, again we see all 
the connection details. So now we know the value is 9 because we just modified it and it should work to change the value to 10. This is changing the value to 10, the transaction call data. We accept. And now we'll wait for the transaction receipt. And we got the transaction receipt. And the new value is 10. We are now on an iPad in the Safari browser. And we see here the Ghana's extension is live and we are using the same decentralized application with a simple storage smart contract we see the wallet connect model appearing automatically and it has detected that we are on a mobile device so it already shows us all uh, the wallets that we can connect with but we are going to choose the QR code so we can use again our Ghana's wallet. Okay, we are going to connect. So we have connected. And this time we can also see the code of this decentralized app, which is using Mark's factory technology. So again, we can now retrieve the value, which is 10, and we can change this value to a 12. And here we can see the value will be changed to a 12. We can accept. We have accepted the transaction and now we are just waiting for the receipt to come in after it's mined. Let's see the receipt. And we'll retrieve the value which is 12. You are welcome to come and taste the future on iOS and Android, then on Chrome and Safari on both desktop and mobile.